Hello and welcome back. My name's Jeff and today we are playing Valheim. Uh, my world seed is Wolverine if you want to follow along, but I have not played this at all So this is going to be a first impressions um, Just sort of blindly stumbling around and seeing what we can do But I mean I know how survival games work you punch trees you get stuff and you build stuff long ago The all-father Odin united the worlds He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world Then split the boughs that had held their prison to the world tree and left it to the drift unanchored a place of exile for centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die as glaciers passed, kingdoms rose, and fell out of sight of the gods, and I'm reading too slow. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and says, Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the worlds, and for the grace warriors of the dead, dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to be all dramatic. It did not happen for me. We try. Oh my god, do we try. Okay, so Hugin here is our guide to Valhalla. Um, Valheim. Valhalla. Whatever. And... Ikthir, who is apparently right over there, um, is our first target, but we have to get stuff to summon him. And we found the ocean, and I just noticed there is a colossal tree above me. I'm assuming that is the world tree that the intro was talking about. I'm sure that will be important eventually, but for right now, I am but a peasant. Uh, hello there. We just met our first new forest friend. Let's kill him. I think I just parried him, but I was just sort of spamming punch, so I can't take too much credit for that. I'm assuming we're in like a super easy area to start, and like if you go to a different location, it's harder. Hey, can I axe you something? Eh. <laughs> okay, um, that happened. I literally just let a tree fall on me, and I exploded into blood and gore. Well, now we know. I'm gonna go try and find my stuff. Thank goodness this isn't an Iron Man, otherwise that would be very embarrassing. Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, Raven, he is not going through a phase. That's just who he is. Well met. Who is well metting me? Oh, that's Hugan. Hugan, why are you hi hiding? Each time you are struck down, you will forget a small part of your abilities. Oh, so I do level. So I build a bed to create a spawn. Go figure. Long ages passed when the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down the Vanir, the giants and those creatures older than any others. The greatest of them could not be killed, but were instead forsaken, exiled here to Valheim for eternity. When they tread the earth, the lesser creatures jump like crumbs on a drum skin. You will know them when you see them. Well, I'm like actively hunting them, so I should hope so. Okay, I found a nice flat-ish area that I think I'm gonna call home for now. It's within like, it's not far off from the summoning area for the first boss, but I think this will do for now. Um, also I have boar that come through and they should provide me a lot of meat. So, yum. Okay, so I didn't have enough stone, so I basically had to wander the whole world in search of stone. Um, and while I was doing that, the whole screen started shaking, so I'm assuming one of those forsaken things where I was walking around, but I couldn't find it, so sad panda. Anyways, I'm setting off, uh, or I'm setting up in this nice little clearing place, which... It doesn't look super far from the world tree, but it's hard to tell. Oh! Ah! Dang it! I, I couldn't get out of the crafting menu, and it- Oh no, he's destroying my stuff! Like, killing me is fine, but you don't have to break my stuff, too. Alright, time to go find it. Oh my gosh, the skeleton's back. And he's just bashing right through my door. And my wall. Alright, fight me. Fight me, I'm on fire and fighting you. And now my grave is on fire, and he's gonna bash down my door. And my wall. Ah, maybe this is what I get for wandering around rather than building stuff. So, uh, I placed my fire more or less right in front of my door. So I can't actually get into my place without lighting myself on fire. But hopefully that'll light some of the uh, skeletons I keep attacking on fire. Oh, snake. That is a skeleton. The skeleton is once again bashing down my door. I mean, at least he left this time. That was considerate of him. Okay. Okay. All right, me and Skellington. I got a, I got a torch. He's got a owl. Okay, sword wins versus torch. Now I know. I'm gonna run away. 
I'm tired of making the hike back out here. I should have just made the bed on spawn or made a bed. Okay, so if I click the repair an item button, I repair something, but apparently I don't get to choose what it is I repair. I couldn't tell if it costed resources. I assume it does. Like, why wouldn't it? But that's a little strange that they don't let you choose. Ooh, I can upgrade this. How? Oh, I need to upgrade my station first. Okay. Um, so I need to... Ooh, I can make arrows a fl... A whole new world. Okay, let's get a spear so I have an actual weapon. And I already have everything I need for it. Sweet. Okay. Um, that's all I can do right now. But that is fine. Uh, and this isn't a stabbing spear. This is... Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't. <laughs> I can use it to throw, but it is a stabbing spear. He just stabs it like a weirdo. Like he's like he's using a butcher knife. Like, ee, ee, ee. But with a big freaking six foot spear. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. Oh, and Skelly Boy is back. I have a weapon this time, Skelly Boy. Hey, that actually went well. I was like 30% sure I was about to die again. I built my fire inside. I am sure there will be no consequences to this. But I can cook meat now. Okay, I have enough to... Or rather, my workbench is upgraded. So now I can upgrade uh, my hammer and my axe. And I need more leather for my for everything else. Um, But yeah, progress. And it's already night again. And I've achieved almost nothing. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I just broke a log and it knocked down another tree. So I just got a tree cut down basically for free. So uh, I knocked down a giant tree and it almost ran over my house. So now I know that's something I have to be worried about. Like, I bet if I cut down that tree, it would just obliterate my house. Which... Oh, okay, okay, stop. Oh, thank goodness that rock is there. Okay. Um... Okay. Anything uphill is not getting cut ever again. And I'm gonna very carefully carve this. And hopefully not lose any of my house. Three hours later. Okay. So it's been about three hours since I've seen y'all last, and I'm sure, as you can see, things have changed. Uh, I made a little wooden McMansion, and it's because I realized that this instrument right here, the hoe, um, it actually lets me uh, level terrain, so I can make a nice clean house instead of the monstrosity I made earlier. And now I have a tiny little McMansion going on. Um, and I also am, like trying to asphyxiate myself because I didn't leave any hole for the uh, smoke from the campfire to go. I need it inside because it does give me like a comfort bonus. But uh, yeah, I think I'll just punch a hole in the roof. So that way like the smoke escapes and it doesn't asphyxiate me. But um, yeah, I need to actually gather more wood because this took a lot of supplies. Uh, but I am up to the tier two axe, so it should be pretty quick. And I'll be back when this McMansion is done. Um, Okay, so... I just started gathering uh, more resources, and this is the first storm I've seen since I've been playing, which is actually pretty cool because a lightning bolt struck near me and made me very concerned about um, whether or not my house can light on fire. Hmm. Okay, I've finished the McMansion, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like the smoke is not accumulating, so I should be safe to not asphyxiate while i'm in here probably yeah it looks like it still thinks it can go out through there even though i sealed it off uh so yeah i call this a success and it has comfort level five which is kind of helpful but not really i don't really know what rested actually gives me but whatever the important thing is it looks nice um i even gave it a nice little overhang and that way it's, I don't know, it's just like less of a boxy feeling, you know what I'm saying? This took me several hours and, uh, well, I mean, I also spent that time like gathering resources and, you know, making the armor I'm wearing, uh, which is just regular leather armor. So now back to actually progressing in this game. Cause, uh, yeah, this, like I said, this actually doesn't help me do anything. It just makes me, <gasps> why is there a tree inside my home? This is, this is not a place for plants. I'm not a planty. Oh, and I have to hip. 
Oh my gosh, it's literally inside of my house. Why? Oh my gosh. Stop. Uh. Okay, well, that was not my favorite thing. Okay, back to progressing. Okay, so I was about to go back to progressing, and then I noticed this Grayling. He's- oh. He wasn't attacking me at first. Like, he was just walking around in my house. But yeah, he was chill. And for a second, I thought he was just gonna, like, be a companion and just be cool about things. But no, he decided to be a jerk and, um, take advantage of my hospitality. And now he's dead. So I've been wandering around and I stumbled into the black forest and Higgin is telling me I don't belong here. I'm probably gonna wander around a bit till I get my butt kicked and regret it. So yeah. Oh, this guy's Fight. this guy's a really big grayling. Oh he hits harder too. And I'm slow as molasses, so I'm I'm struggling to uh, dodge him. Oof. I think, I think this may not have been the greatest idea I've ever had. But you know what? Screw it. I could take him. Oof. I say as he gets uncomfortably close to me. Ooh. Okay, maybe I can't take him. I am down, like, one more good hit and he's got me. Snipe him. Uh, that did a bit of damage. Alright, screw it. I'm taking this guy down one way or another. Oof. Okay, not like that. I'm not, though. Okay, okay. I need to stop pushing crouch, and I need to start pushing run. Finish him! Oh, no, 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 no! Oof. Maybe I shouldn't have gone into the overpowered place before I was ready. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so while I was off exploring, which I was actually in the same village, I found this, which is exactly what it looks like. It's a beehive. So I did the smartest thing I could think of, and I smacked it with a stick. And when I smacked it with a stick, it gave me a queen bee. So apparently, I can make my own um, bee nest, farm, whatever. Um, so yeah, I can get honey. That's pretty dope. Okay. So, we brought the bees home and made a nice little, um, a nice little bee farm, and we made some wholly unnecessary additions to my McMansion, uh, in that we added a nice little frame inside, and, I mean, I think it looks nice. Well, nicer than it did. Obviously, there's still a lot of room for improvement, but... Since I'm probably going to be moving to a new region, I don't want to spend too much time on this house. And I also upgraded all my tools to level 3, uh, except the hoe. But uh, yeah, no, I think that will do it for this episode. And hopefully next episode, we will kill the first Forsaken. Thank you all for joining me. Deuces.